This is my Carolina Reaper pepper, the very first one. It came out beautifully. If you'll notice the wicked, horrible scorpion tail that sits off the bottom of these things, basically telling you, don't touch me, I'll probably kill you. And the smell is interesting. It is smoky, it is peppery, it burns the nostrils even from here. You can definitely smell a little bit of that fruitiness that you hear about. So I'm going to start with a reasonable amount. Have you ever had one of these before? I've never had a reaper pepper before. They are twice as hot as a ghost pepper. A ghost pepper is one million Scoville units, which is ridiculous. This is two million. Actually, not to counteract you, but I just looked it up. It's one million six hundred and something. That's thousand. the baseline, up to two million. Okay. So it's one point six to one point. It's one point six million to two million Scoville units. So. Here's the slice I'm about to take. I'm actually a little, a little scared. Do you have water ready? No. Mmm. Ooh, right off the bat. Ooh, it grows. Ooh, it grows. started out as just sort of a stinging on the tip of the tongue, but as soon as you take that first swallow, it just blooms across your entire mouth. Oh, I'm so happy with this! It burns so bad! Mm. And I am getting that fruity sweetness. I'm definitely getting the fruity sweetness. I am getting the smokiness. There is a hateful, a hateful quality to the spiciness. It is burning all over my mouth. And this is just from a sliver. I could make so much hot sauce with this. It's settling down. No, it's not. It's intensifying. <laughs> Every swallow is a new agony. Oh, man. I can feel all the capillaries in my face opening up, and now I'm having trouble swallowing. This is a good pepper, man. I'm actually going to take a sip of water. I kind of want to fight through it because that's when all the feel-good chemicals happen, so I'm going to. Oh, it hurts. I feel bad for every guy I've watched online eat the whole pepper. And I'm like, eh, I should probably do that. I'm so glad I didn't. I might be dead. Oh, wow. Is my face as purple as it feels? It's a little red. Oh, wow. I felt my whole face in a flush, just go warm, red. And I'm starting to sweat. Oh man, I haven't had this sensation ever. Let me show you what I what I usually do. Actually, I'm gonna have you. Yeah. My usual hot sauce is Dave's Ultimate Insanity Sauce. And this stuff doesn't even raise my temp anymore. It's more just a pleasant buzzing on the tongue. Oh man, I haven't felt this in years. Oh. Yeah, you could knock someone out with this if you made this into a pepper spray. And water doesn't do much to numb that. It certainly helps with the sting in the back of the throat. Oh. Oh, and I just got a big old rush of endorphins. <laughs> For those of you who aren't into spicy food, this is why you do spicy food. It's kind of like why people go running. You just feel a really a big rush of endorphins when you survive the initial onslaught of pain and burning. Oh, man. Well, there it is, folks. That is the Carolina Reaper. I have got my seeds that I'm going to turn into more Reaper peppers. I don't know. Usually the animals around here, the birds especially, love to eat red things and they're supposed to be immune to capsaicin so they can eat peppers no problem, but they have not come anywhere near this thing and I don't know if it's just good sense on their part, but something about these have told them to stay the hell away from them, so they have. Oh, and I've got about 
40 of these peppers on each one of the two plants out there. So I may be set for a very long time. This thing's going in the freezer, and I'm gonna make myself a batch of Aiku sauce using this thing, and it is gonna be wild. So that is it, folks. The Carolina Reaper pepper, grown in manure now, and it shall soon be made into Aiku sauce, brought to you by yours truly in Boto Lodge. So thanks so much for tuning in. We hope to see you soon.